Hi everyone, this is Josephine from Design by Josephine and Josie. And today's video is an English countryside tablescape video. And this video, of course, is inspired by the English countryside. And I really wanted to do a video that just focus on the beauty of the English countryside and um, one of the things that have inspired me to do this tablescape is just looking at all of the beautiful pictures online and looking at the beautiful English homes and the interior designs of the English countryside and just the English country gardens, the lush gardens that have beautiful flowers and beautiful roses and I just really got inspired for me to do a tablescape with that theme. So I'm really excited for me to share with all of you how this beautiful tablescape turned out. And before I even get started in today's tablescape, I wanted to say that if you are into tablescapes, home decor, gardening, and how to entertain at home, definitely subscribe to my channel. It is free. And if you are a returning subscriber and you're watching one of my videos again, I want to say welcome back. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And of course, once you subscribe to my channel, there's this little bell right next to the subscription button. Just click on the bell and click on the word all. So that way you'll get a notification when I upload new videos on my channel. And also another thing that I want to ask all of my wonderful subscribers and my viewers is to click the like button. So that way the YouTube algorithm could share my video. I would highly appreciate it. So now let me go ahead and get started in today's video. Okay, everyone, here is this beautiful tablescape that is English countryside inspired. And I love this tablescape. I love it because it is simple, it is elegant, and it's just really beautiful. And I just love the colors of this tablescape. So I wanted to do a tablescape that is English country inspired. And one of the first tips that I want to share if you want to copy this and if you want to get inspired by um, doing a tablescape that looked like this one of the first tips that I want to share is definitely get a dark color tablecloth that have some flower design into it and um, the reason why I say that is because we are still in winter and of course um, I wanted to do a tablescape that represent the season of late winter going into spring. And so this is the reason why I've decided to use this beautiful dark color tablecloth that has some flower designs on it. So again, tip number one is to get a tablecloth that have a dark background and that also have some flowers. So that way, if you are going to be doing a dinner party um, from now until spring, it still kind of have that essence of winter, but it also have the look of spring as well.
So I wanted to um, talk a little bit more about the tablecloth. And this is a tablecloth that I can use now and I could also use for spring and for summer. Because of the floral design that is on this tablecloth and also there's bees and butterflies on this beautiful tablecloth and I just absolutely love it. And again, it is from Lennox. Now I am going to go over the dinnerware and I'm going to go over first the dinner plate. So here is this beautiful dinner plate. And this dinner plate reminds me of just a hunting scene, um, of course, with English themed as well. And I just think that it just looks so beautiful. And this plate really reminds me of just the English countryside. I just think it looks so beautiful. It have two horses on here, men on horses and also some dogs here and it kind of looks like um you know two men that are just going hunting and this is very common in um in england as you can see and i just think it looks absolutely gorgeous and it has this beautiful scenery all around here and i just love how this plate look now this is from this company right here okay and as you can see it is microwave and dishwasher safe but again I just love it I just love just the design on here and I love the picture of the two men on the horses that are going hunting and also the dogs as well and it just reminds me of just the English countryside and I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, the salad plate also have the same pattern as well. So another um, thing that I like to do, of course, when I do tablescapes, is to mix and match. So I love to mix and match. And here is another plate. Now, this is a vintage plate um, that my mom and I got from an antique shop. And this is called Double Phoenix Nico. It's from Japan. And I just think this is gorgeous with all of the flower design on here and all of just all of the floral design on here. I just think it looks so beautiful and the color matches perfectly with this plate as well. And again, it reminds me of the English countryside and so this is the reason why I've decided to include this plate in today's tablescape and of course this is a dinner plate and I also decided to use this beautiful uh, salad plate and this salad plate is from the company a perfect occasion and it is dishwasher and microwave safe and as you can see, it has this beautiful, intricate design, and I just love this. And I'm just going to insert a picture of how the salad plate and the plate look together. And I just think that it just looks so beautiful, and it really looks like the English countryside. And again, let me share how the dinner plate looks. So you could actually see how it looks, and I just love this I love the floral pattern that is on this plate the floral design and it also have a little bit of a scallop detail all around the plate and I just think this looks gorgeous and I really feel like the salad plate goes really really nice with this plate as well and it have this English countryside look as well so 
the napkin and the napkin ring, I've decided to keep it simple. And I decided to go ahead and use this beautiful burgundy napkin that have some nice design on there, as you can see, and also a gold um, napkin ring to match the charger plate that is in the color gold. And the reason why I've decided to use the gold um, charger plate and the gold napkin is because I really felt like I wanted to do a look of luxury to the tablescape. And I also have used some silverware that have a little bit of gold design as well. Another thing that I love to do is mix and match the glassware. So here is this beautiful, beautiful goblet as you can see. So I usually use these goblets for water. So I use them as a water glass and I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous. And here is the other goblet that I have used on the other side. It just looks so pretty. And both of them for water for my guests. And here is the wine glass. And it have a beautiful etched floral design. Absolutely gorgeous. So here's this beautiful centerpiece, and this is a floral arrangement that my mom have put together, and there's different colors of flowers in here. There's different flowers as well. There's peonies and different types of flowers that just reminds me of spring. Um, as you can see, there's burgundy, cream, white, ivory, there's pink flowers in this floral arrangement and I just think that it looks so beautiful and it really captures the essence of the English countryside and it goes really nice it goes perfect with the tablecloth and I just think that it just looks so beautiful now of course one of the ways that my mom and I love to do a centerpiece is to put the floral arrangement in a beautiful crystal vase and I always um, love to use crystal vases for centerpieces. I just think that it gives a regal and opulent look. Now, of course, you can definitely, if you're gonna be copying this, you can definitely use silk flowers or natural flowers. I love using both. And if you are gonna be using natural flowers to copy this, you can definitely go to your local florist, check to see if they have some flowers that have a little bit of burgundy, um, some cream color flowers, some ivory color flowers to create a beautiful centerpiece for this tablescape. So again, um, would highly recommend natural flowers or silk flowers. And one of the other tips that I want to share is that um, if you want to create a beautiful, um, tablescape definitely match your flowers with the tablecloth and that is what my mom and I have done here and I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous <music>
Okay, so that is it for this English countryside tablescape video. And I really love how this tablescape turned out. I really love how it just looks very spring, but yet it kind of has that winter look still. And it also captured the look of the English countryside from the tablecloth to the dishes, to the glassware, the silverware, the centerpiece, the candelabras. I just feel like everything looks absolutely gorgeous. And of course the lace table runner just really gives it that English countryside look. And I just love how everything turned out. So of course, like I have mentioned, this is for you to copy. You can definitely get inspiration from this beautiful tablescape. If you are going to be doing a dinner party and you want to wow your guests and I will continue to do more tablescapes. Now the next videos that I'm going to be doing is I am going to be um, updating the downtown Abbey home decor series that I just started last year. And I know that I have mentioned I'm going to be doing a hot chocolate recipe and I am going to be doing that in the next few weeks. And I am going to do more of the tea with Josephine, afternoon tea with Josephine or tea time with Josephine. And it's basically me sharing some things that bring beauty and joy into my life. And I have done a few French chateaus. Um, in that series and I'm about to do another French Chateau and some English home and some American homes in that series as well where we tour some beautiful homes together and drink some tea coffee or hot chocolate okay so I'm really excited about that series and I'm gonna be updating that series as well and that is it for today's video and of course you can definitely follow me in all of my social media, the link is going to be down below in the description box. I am on Facebook and also on Instagram and TikTok. And I do have a blog as well. So definitely check that out and definitely check out my Amazon store as well. And I'll be leaving all of the links down below in the description box. And that is it for today's video. And I'll be doing more tablescape videos, more gardening videos more home decor videos and more how to entertain at home videos bye bye and god bless